So we used to ride at the train station. I'm about to head to Walgreens, get some snacks. So you didn't say happy birthday to me, y'all. I did. I told her happy birthday. You're going to say on your vlog. Oh, well, happy birthday to me. Oh, they're already there. Who would have let you work at? Well, I wonder if they got some. Can you wipe my hands out here? I'm right here. Right now, screen is your thing. It's not the easy. Yeah, that looks better. Where the snacks at? So, I'm on a mission to find a little bit of a leak. Ah, snacks. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh, this is scary. 
Taking a picture shoot.
Y'all already know, can't be a nay vlog without a food review. But we went out to Havana Central in Times Square, New York City for my mom's birthday. I got a pina colada as a drink, pretty slight 10 out of 10. And here I got the, well I'm gonna just call it the green eggs and ham combo, but in reality it's called a vodka frita. It has sauteed steak, cilantro lime rice, and a fried egg on top with some peppers and garlic. And it was really good, crispy, everything was delicious, 10 out of 10. We also got a complimentary side salad with it, but I couldn't finish it all because it was a lot of food, but yeah. Enjoy the rest of the video. Bro. Yeah. No, VIP is just like, that's a I'll get to that. I'll get to that. Not the best best <laughs> girl. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please ask one of us and get turned around. We'll probably put you on the right track, okay? Yeah. And finally, pictures are mandatory because come on now, we can't be in here looking this good without taking some pictures. Here we go. Exactly. And I'm going to give you guys these name tags right here. You're going to make your own ice cream maze, but Ooh. I do not want to see no chocolates, no vanillas, no mint chocolate chips. We're not going to be boring today. Because today, we have the chocolate like. thunder. Oh! oh. oh. I got my name. Be careful, swirl. Oh! Okay, what's what's swirl? Chocolate thunder. Like steam vanilla bean. Oh! Ice cream.
Jesse is crazy. Ten, I want my 
that is the end of today's video i really hope y'all enjoyed it i know i did but i'm just hoping that y'all enjoyed it that's the goal here but um yeah my reflections on new york city is i will probably never go there again unless it was for like a special event but for a vacation hex no <laughs> but um yeah it was just like a too much noise in my opinion on the street because if you're walking around then in new york city every five five to ten seconds you hear horn like car horns and people beeping for no reason like but like one thing i witnessed bro there was this truck that decided to keep honking at a, another car that was waiting for people to pass by but like the thing was it just kept going like all the people kept crossing and he was still honking but i really don't get it like do y'all have like a set time frame y'all have to get to the place by or something like that because that's scary like would you if the car was in front of you would you really like run him over just for that bro because that's exactly what it seemed like and he was going the same way the um the car was going too so i'm um, People just lack patience but um yeah let me just give you the daily word of the day oh in case y'all didn't know um ooh. sorry this one word just popped out to me in case you didn't realize yeah we got a new atmosphere i'm probably switch up if y'all don't really like it too much but we just got some natural lighting here and it's currently like 5 13 so we got 5 13 like sunlight and i feel like I didn't even feel like 10 a.m. is where it's best. I don't know why. I might be tripping, but that's just for me. But, um, yeah, let's get started with this. So, today's word is... What was it? I just saw it. Oh, yeah, sorry, y'all. Today's word is Romans chapter 6, verse 23. And it says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Maybe I should put verse 22 with it, too, just for the benefit of it. I'm gonna read it all together. Romans chapter six, verse 22 to 23 notes. But now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, the benefit you reap leads to holiness and the result is eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. So that other part really didn't like, I'm not gonna say it didn't matter too much, but it was just kind of like a flow type of thing. Oh yeah, I got it. It's basically showing like life without God and life with God and what you will seek and what you will reap. So of course y'all heard the term, you, you sow what you reap, I believe. It's one of those, it's either you sow what you reap or you reap what you sow. But I'm gonna definitely put it here. And also here's the verse if you want like screenshot or something just for aesthetic. But um, yeah. We who trust in Christ from the very beginning to the very end will get eternal life. And that's not saying like life here, but life in heaven. And those who fail to do that, fail to at least seek that, well, yeah, you know what happens from there. But yeah, it's a pretty easy word. I'm sure y'all understood it from the start. Basically it's saying to like repent and you will be on the path to success for beginners. But if you want to really go deeper than that, then um, all you gotta do is put your trust and consideration to the Lord himself and he will lead you to paradise. But don't put none of that stuff into the devil, none of that, none of your prayers, nothing like that. Because if you take if you take a meter out of your prayer, if that makes sense, then the devil will go a mile into your prayer. Yeah, I really don't got nothing else for y'all unless y'all want some news. I got my first cross country meet, but by the time this video is already posted, then I'm probably gonna be done with it. Bro, they were tripping. They were talking about waking up at seven in the morning, even though I'd be waking up at like five originally, or sometimes even three if I have to, and then just go back to sleep like maybe an hour after. Cause in case you didn't hear about it, then I heard that you're supposed to be waking up. Well, not supposed to be, but if like you're woken up at three in the morning to like six, then you're supposed to pray and just seek God's word. And that means reading your Bible. But yeah, I tried that recently and I guess it worked out, but I'm still doing it. It just happens occasionally, but yeah, that's basically all I have for y'all. Always thank God for your achievements, all your blessings and whatever happens to somebody in the past, it's just in the past. Like you shouldn't blame them for their past because they could be a new person. Like I don't really like to blame nobody for the past. I'm all ears to like apologies and stuff like that. But I just got a question for y'all. Y'all should really comment like what your favorite um verse or your favorite book in the Bible is. Mine's, I know a ton of y'all gonna say Psalm probably, but I don't know, it's between Corinthians and like Proverbs. Corinthians is good for like relationships, which I'm not rushing right now because I definitely used to, but it wasn't that severe, if you know what I mean. Like I wasn't getting like one, two, three, four, five. It was just mainly one. And that one was possibly one of the biggest mistakes I ever made. And this was like freshman year. So yeah, none of that. I'm really chilling right now. I'm not seeking nothing.
I'm just waiting on God's plan and yeah, keeping the grind going because I really want to go to UT, but you know, you don't know what's in the future, but I'm gonna really strive to get that and just leave it in God's hands. So I don't really want to take too much of your time though, because you know, these intros and outros be long as I don't know what, but yeah, um, thank you guys for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you want next. And I've been thinking I should do Vlogmas, but my editing, it's too slow to be doing vlogmas. Like I have to prepare like maybe three months in advance and I don't get how to be doing it. I need to watch some tutorials or something like that because most of my events are like mostly in December. So I can't do day by day editing like that. But um, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Deuce. Oh, I'm sorry y'all, but this video is definitely gonna get posted before my back to school pickups. I'm really sorry, but I promise I'm gonna be shooting it real soon. So just stay tuned in for that. And as always, trust God. See you on the next one. Peace.